Good morning guys, welcome to today. As you can hear, it's the rain. You can look at my glasses, they're all wet. Anyway, Sophie and I are going to the tech store to pick up something. I'll show you when we get there, if we can find it. And today, because it's raining, I'm gonna wait for a lull in the rain. It's gonna rain probably three days. I still got my big bag of hay seed. There it is right there on the seat. It's like precious to me. It's expensive. Precious. I got one bag here ready to go to do some acreage there. That only does about uh, three acres, that, that grass seed, hay seed, and I only need to do uh, four acres maybe. So what I'm going to do is, uh, now that I'm starting late, I'm going to do the field that the horses use in the winter time. The other field where we use the arena, the riding arena, the other side. And maybe the back field, if I'm not sure yet. I might wait until fall to do it and I'll, I'll seed it in the fall and then reseed it in the spring and that will give me lots of hay out there. So this, this seed is more or less like a trial run to see if I like this seed. It's a special pasture mixed seed and it's supposed to be for high traffic areas and specifically that's what i bought it for the high traffic area so we'll see how that works if i can get to it today i'm gonna get to it we're at tax shop look you want a shirt jeans no horse <laughs> we are at the tax door and what we're looking for is this Don't know what it is, but looks like that right there. Looks like that right there. We'll pick up that bucket. Is it? Matches. <laughs> That's what we're getting. Now, what is it? It's cool. It is. Clay. It is some cool out clay for veterinary use only. Are you a veterinary? No. Then why are we using them? I don't know. Let's go to the halters. What are we looking at? Halters now? Yeah. Oh yeah, and I still think that green one will look really good. You on Willow. Oh, yuck. Look at that nice yellow one over there. Lemieux. Yellow. That's oh, that's, that's like, that's yellow. That's perfect color. I still like it. And this would look good on him too. Burned orange. This is brighter in the camera than it is in the real life, though. So. All right. Well, that's all we were getting. Then we forgot to bring back the boots we bought. Hey, they got these waterers. This would be good in the goat barn in the winter time. Hey, good in the winter time. I think they keep it. From freezing. We need to get a bunch of those for the goat barn. All right, so I just want to point out we parked out right beside a Jeep. Gray Jeep. Oh, and I can't see it in the camera. Oh, there it is, gray Jeep. Anyways, I bought this stuff. It's only 20 bucks. But apparently it's a hot seller. It's a hot seller. I've never used it before, but... I mean, there's another poultice thing that nobody can get right now, so I think that's why it's the hottest seller on the market today. I saw this yummy treat on TikTok. I don't know why I'm on TikTok, just to look around, I guess. But anyways, it incorporates Oreos and condensed milk, whipped cream, cake mix, and butter. And you just put it all in a pan, and then you bake it, and it's like a, it's like a brownie. So, brownie cake. So I'm gonna try that today and show you what it looks like. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is, I don't even remember what day it is. Today is Thursday. This, the last two weeks have flown by. Look at that little receipt. Comment yes if you've noticed that the last two weeks have flown by. I don't know if you guys noticed uh, in yesterday's video, but there are some very hungry baby birds making a lot of racket in this barn. So we're gonna try and find them. The guinea feathers. They stole the guinea feathers to make their nest? See that hole up there? Oh. Go up there and... Oh my gosh. 
That's where the nest is. See the guinea feathers? They stole their chicken feathers. How does the mama bird get in there? No, I don't see any mouths. Well, not right now, but... Oh, way in there, you guys. There's baby birds inside there. I mean, they'd be warm in there. Do I think it's a good spot for them? Maybe not. This is cool. I love it. So we bought this clay. It's like a poultice. How'd you get it all over you? It's called... We bought a clay poultice before and didn't like it. This stuff is called Cool Out. And... Um, Gabby had stuff like, oh, it's so cool. Gabby had stuff that was really good for Chino after she wrote them. And Sophie wants to have stuff like that too. She has like a spray, but I really wanted to try this poultice because I think that it'd be interesting. It's supposed to be medicated. I really wanted a medicated poultice because it's really good for muscle aches, but that stuff doesn't even smell. It poured rain all morning. Like, it's 2 o'clock now, and it's been raining all this entire day. And I really wondered how Posey the pig would fare on her very first day outside, full-time, living in the barn in the rain. I wondered if she would come up here and hang out in here, which is where I would be, lay in her blanket. But she didn't. She actually stayed in the goat barn. She stayed with the boy goats, and that's exactly where I hoped she would stay. Sam and Sophie have gone to bring the horses in. We only let them stay out for like half the day and then we bring them in because last year we left them on grass for most of the day brought them in at night they got a little chubby they can still eat the hay they still have a round bale and they still have hay sam throws hay for the first storm gracie Yeah, she does look like she's keeping her weight good. I'm worried about this stuff. So the stuff I had before had like a menthol or some kind of like, you could tell it was medicated. It worked so good. This is just seems like just plain clay to me, which can be beneficial, but I wanted something like more powerful. Oh, also comment below what you guys use on your horses after a ride, after you um, to cool them down, to like help their muscles adjust. Not that Sophie's done too much with her or anything, but we want to have something that we can use. It does kind of have a smell to it. You can tell it might be a little bit medicated. It just doesn't have the same stuff that I wanted in it. And also, Sam said that the lady said that this was super popular, that they can't get the other stuff that I wanted. This is the pasture paddock horse mix that Sam bought. How much was this one bag of grass seed? 300 bucks. 300 bucks. There it is. That's what I bought. Uh, there's so much to choose from, but this one, we we're looking at it and it's made for, it's pretty much blended for um, heavy use paddocks. So that's why I got it. So I was hoping to do it in between rains and now it stopped raining. Uh, I don't really want the birds to eat it when I put it out there, so I'm going to put it out there tonight. So that's the field, one with the uh, shelter. I'm going to do that field. I'm going to do the behind the barn here where the horses use. I'm going to reseed all that. So I'm going to do it like tonight while the horses are in and it'll be a bit dark, but I have headlights on my tractor, so my lawn tractor, so should be all right. And I was looking at the other fields, the one that the horses are using now, and that needs to be redone, and the other field needs to be redone too. So I, I might do the back field because that'll give it till the end of this month, so then they can go into that field. And once they go in that field, I might switch to the other field so I'll have to buy more obviously but that's the plan plan is to get it done while it's raining and it's gonna rain for the next couple days so it's the best time to seed that lawn
that paddock. So Zobie's applying the mud now. It's like uh, this is sad. it's like fun, isn't she it fun? Cute with like really white legs. Yeah, she's got like white legs now. You won't even recognize her. Hi. And uh, so you that should be like fun. It's like playing with plaster scene or playing with mud, pretty much. I think we're gonna put it on storm too, aren't we? Not today. Gabby's gonna have to do it. Yeah. I mean, it's good to do it now because then when it rains, it'll all come off after <laughs> tomorrow, anyways. It has to be on for like 12 hours or something, so then we gotta wash it off. Guess we're doing the back legs too, and I can smell it way from here. Can you smell it? It's like a minty, eucalyptus y kind of thing. What is that word? Eucalyptus? Like a menthol kind of thing. Like a mint. I wonder if we can make our own poultice. Smells, smells uh, minty. Just a trick so this doesn't dry out at all. Because when you get down to the middle of it, it's going to dry out. Because all the air in there. Just get some saran wrap and you s stick the saran wrap down the bottom. And then you cover it up. It'll be, it won't dry. That's a trick, and Sophie didn't like my trick, even though I told her to get some rain wrap and put it in there. But we'll see what happens when it dries out. Hey guys, this is the brownie cake that I made. It just came out of the oven, so it's kind of hot. What it was was a layer of Oreos in there. Layer of Oreos, then condensed milk on top of that, then one whole thing of whipped cream, whipped topping, and then cake mix. And I probably got the wrong one because I used the moist cake mix, but I didn't know if you had to or not, and if it mattered. And then you put butter on top, and then it all melts and mixes together. You don't even have to use a mixer. You just put it all in a pot. Sit you want to try it? Doesn't that look yum? I bet you Gabby's going to like it. No. Taste test. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. It's hot. It's hot. It's just came out of the oven, man. What do you expect? And what's the verdict? It's good. Are, are, weird. are you throwing up? It's burning my mouth. It's what? Burning. That's because they just took it out of the oven, man. Tastes weird? Yeah. It's cake mix and Oreo cookies, basically, and whipped cream. Cake mix tastes weird. It was hot today, you guys. It was scorching. Now it's freezing. Actually, I'm going to have to go in there and get a sweater. I'm freezing. <laughs> Hold on. Usually I hate spring, but this spring has been the best spring ever. It's been mild and it, it's been mild with a few cold days and a few really warm days mixed in, but I've loved it. Today I was thinking about how close I am with all of my animals, like how, how close I feel to them. And I was thinking like, I miss my pig so much. And I was thinking, what animal do I feel the most close to? And it's Ellie. I don't know why, like I love my horse so much. I love my goats. I love Ruby who thinks she's mine. But the truth is, Ellie is my dream. She's literally my little dream dog. And I think the reason I love her so much, uh oh, you guys need water. It's because she's so dedicated to me. Okay, hold on, I gotta get some water for these guys. Okay, so let's talk about Sophie's show. I was talking about it with her today, and it's raining. <laughs> it's raining. She wants to show. There's a show in a week. I don't think she's gonna be ready. One of the big things that she needs to do is teach her horse to relax. Do you guys see it? Oh, it's so pretty. See? I'm talking about a horse show and there's show and there's a rainbow. You guys, it's so pretty. And it's right at the end of the barn. What the heck? The barn was left open. Oh no. How'd you guys get in the barn? Oh my gosh. They destroyed the barn. They were in the bar they were in the barn all day. The pig is in the pool now. The pig. Wow. What? Oh my God. They ate the whole bag of pig food. They Not pooped the all over. They is it all gone? I don't know. No. No. They just tried. I bet you they didn't get in that long ago. Otherwise, that pig would have it all gone. 
It was probably the pig that ate that, but I'll have to check everybody out over. What a mess. I don't know who did it. Look, they were on the hay. To get by, we're one step closer to find ourselves a perfect place. A feeling you just can't deny. So come on over, cause I could never live without you. Anyway, my whole point is, if you guys can see me, my whole point is that Sophie really wants to show in a week. She's not ready. Her horse isn't ready. She'd have to show something like walk trot poles, but she wants to try and get ready. It's a goal she wants to set for herself. So if you guys have any things that exercises that you guys do that really helps to um, get the horse to relax under saddle. Remember she was a carriage horse before, so she pulled a carriage. So she's used to riding with her head up in the air. So Sophie needs to really, really work on that. That's her focus for the next week. So if you have any ideas, or, or if you have any links to any websites that you guys wanna share that you think would be good exercises for Sophie and Lady, please let us know. It is bedtime. Say hello to Miss Toffee. Tuffy, say hi. Say hi. She's all full of life now. <laughs> she is super energetic. Don't you know the